Hi guys! So I feel like I haven't been, I haven't updated all my life like in forever and even though there's not like any huge things coming up, I just wanted to like make a life update video just talking about like how things have been going in my life besides like the kids and stuff like that. So the first thing is that there's a contest going on right now and it's called, I think it's called the top 25 um, mom vlogs of 2013 or something like that and one of my really 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 super sweet subscribers nominated me for that so if you like my videos then please go and vote for me it would mean so much to me one of my other subscribers told me that if you get like the most votes or something that you're gonna be a magazine but I don't know if that's true but either way it would just be awesome and if you like my vlogs then go ahead and go vote. I'll put a link below and go vote for me and I think you can vote once a day until like March 13th or something and all you have to do, you don't have to register anything, you just go and you click vote and then um, your vote is counted. So the first thing I want to talk about is um, the, bir the boy's birthday because that is coming up in like a month which is insane because it is, let's see, I think it's the 25th so yeah, oh my god, that's just really stressful. Um, yeah, in a month, well March 30th is the boy's birthday and we are having their birthday on March 30th because it happens to be a Saturday this year. The only downside, and I did not even realize this until like two weeks ago, the boy's birthday this year is a day before Easter, which means every single year when the boy's birthday is, we're going to have to compete against like it being on Easter. And that really sucks because for the past like five years, Easter has been like in April, right? <laughs> And now all of a sudden Easter is in the end of March. So Easter this year is the day after the boy's birthday, which has some positives and negatives, I think, because I think like there'll be more people who will be in town family, um, which means that more people could possibly come. But the downside is but the downside is it is the day before Easter. So some families might be having Easter a day early to compensate for other family events going on on actual Easter Day or um maybe people are leaving town so whoever comes will come and it's really I mean it's not a huge deal but if they really love me they would come to the boy's birthday and no, I'm just kidding <laughs> I know everybody has different things to do so anyway yeah the boy's birthday is gonna be on their actual birthday which is Saturday March 30th and location oh my gosh it has been so stressful because I don't I really wanted it to I really wanted it to be inside just because March weather you never know um, whether it's going to be bright and sunny and hot or in California at least or like cold and windy and rainy you just don't know so I'm crossing my fingers that it's going to be good weather because we reserved a park because this house just um, if we had to we could probably make it work but it is so small plus we'd have to clean the whole dang thing <laughs> on top of decorating it and that would just be super stressful so we decided to have to have it somewhere else and we don't really know anyone that has a house that's big enough to have a bunch of people or that would be willing to host a party with a bunch of people so I just went ahead and I reserved um, a, a local park that has an awning so it has like coverage just in case it was raining because if it was like raining or even just sprinkling and but not like super cold then it would probably not be a big deal because like I said it has the over thing so I don't know I'm just really crossing my fingers that it's not gonna rain because <laughs> that would just I don't want to have to like think about what to do then as for the theme, we do have a theme picked out, and I guess I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys. So the theme is going to be monsters, like the little cute little monsters. And um, we have some of the stuff. We really don't have a lot, actually. Um, I've been looking on Pinterest for ideas because Pinterest is, like, awesome, especially when it comes to, like, party planning and stuff. I, I have a few cute little things in mind. Um, I haven't decided if I want to do cupcakes or cake. I don't know. It seems like cupcakes will be easier because you just, like, grab them, and then they're, like, I could actually make them probably. So I don't know. I'll... Drake has a friend whose mom does baking, like, um, not like in a, like a bakery or anything, but she just does it like on the side, so, and that's his best friend's mom, so I was gonna talk to her and see if she could maybe give us a discount, because obviously I wouldn't want her to do it for free, because that's not fair, but yeah, so we were talking about maybe doing that, um, I just finished the invites, which I need to go print, like, today, like right now, after this video, so I could send them out, because it's practically a month away now, so I really need to be getting those invites out, and I'll go ahead and show you, I'll show you guys the invite so you can see like the kind of monsters I was talking about. That's really all I have planned right now. Uh, I have their outfits and I have Lilia's outfit and I have um, the location reserved and I have the invites made. So all I need to do is send out the invites and then just like start getting the decorations and stuff. So hopefully it'll all pull together because it's going to be so stressful. What else has been happening in my life? Um, I'm turning 21. March 7th is my birthday and we are actually going to Reno for my birthday. Since I had the twins, Drake and I have literally been away 
two nights, two nights ever from them, like ever, like to where we could just like get a full night of sleep. And that is partly because I don't really want to be away from them at night, but also partly because um, we don't have anybody in our life that is like willing to watch them overnight, except for his mom who lives in Nevada. So um, for my 21st birthday, we decided that we were gonna go over to, she lives an hour away from Reno. Since they're older now, they're almost one year old. We're gonna actually make like a week's trip um, over to Nevada and we're gonna stay a few days with her and then we're gonna go to Reno for the night for my birthday, which would be so exciting, it'll be 21. I also, my mom was, as you know, we like go on walks all the time. Um, my mom was on a walk and she was just like around the corner from our house and she called me and she was all, oh my god, Jessica, this house is so cute. It's for sale. Like, come look at it. And we went over there and the realtor just happened to pull up like at the same exact time, which is like a huge coincidence. So we went inside, we looked at the house and we practically fell in love with it. Uh, but <laughs> um, the thing is it had already been on the market for like 10 days and I, he didn't think that I'd be able to like put an offer in in time because I had to go get pre-qualified. We aren't looking, we aren't like actively looking for another house, but it would be nice if we had a place that was a little bit bigger. Um, obviously everybody is happy with the living situation here, so that's why we're not really in a rush, but that just kind of like sparked our like, oh, maybe we should like think about getting another house. Drake and I before were looking for a house, um, but now I have a lot more money saved up and I went and I got pre-qualified for a pretty good amount since my credit is really, really good. So, I mean, if I wanted to right this second, I could just like go and buy a house. But really, we're all happy with the living situation here. Um, it, it is a little bit small, but it really just works out financially for my mom and for me as well. Because I do pay rent, but it's not, it's, it wouldn't be, well, actually it's pretty close. It wouldn't be quite as much as if I was living on my own, um, but it helps my mom a lot because it's like practically the whole mortgage. <laughs> um, so it really just works out for all of us, but we're thinking, because me and my mom, like, we're like attached to the hip. We really don't want to be like separated <laughs> pretty much. So we're looking, we're waiting for a house to pop up like right around where my mom lives. It'd be awesome if it was like right next door or like right across the street. And um, since we're not in a rush, we're just gonna wait to see if a house that's right on our street pops up. And then if it does, then we'll try to get it. And until then, we're perfectly happy where we are. So yeah, we're not actively looking for a house, but it would be nice to just like, if, if we could live right around here and have more space. And also, I've had a lot of people ask me about baby number four, because Drake and I do want to have another one. Um, we have been talking about it lately, but I think we want to wait until the boys are going to be two years old. Because with Lilia, she, was, um, she wasn't she was two yet. She, it was three months before she turned two. And I really didn't like the language barrier, how she couldn't really communicate a lot. So it would be nice if they were at least two years old. Right now, we're leaning towards waiting until like the end of summer to start trying but we are talking about having another one so that's just kind of where we are right now because we do want to get all the childbearing years out of the way since we already have our three out of four <laughs> and that way we'll just have our fourth one and then uh, for a while there I was thinking I was gonna get my tubes tied but then I really researched that and I do not want to do that because that could cause a lot of problems and it's real, a really invasive surgery so, so Drake and I agreed that he would just be the one getting snipped because it's just an easy little my my dad's got it done and my papa's got it done and so many people in our family have gotten it done and it's just like a 15 minute little like numb it here and then pull it out and then you don't have to do anything for three days type thing and he's totally down for that because we really think that four is our limit for the kids so after number four um, we're just gonna get him um, fixed, so to speak. What's the correct term for that? A vas- I think it's called a vasectomy. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, that's what he's gonna get. So, that's where we're- that's where we live for baby number four. Yeah, just pretty much living life. Like, we're all really happy right now. Everything is just really going good. I'm turning 21, the boys are about to turn one, and then after that we're gonna have to start thinking about Lilia turning three. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh my god, I don't even want to think about that. Like, that's- I don't even want to think about that. She's not allowed to grow up. Yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. And, and don't forget to go vote for me for the Circle of Moms contest. It would mean so much to me, and I put the link below. And like I said, you could vote once a day, every day, until, uh, I, think it, I think it's March 13th, but I don't know for sure. So go down and vote for me, and let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.